Hey guys, welcome to another vlog. Welcome to another Jack's Hacks. Basically, today we're going to talk about digital apps where you can put your money or saan ba tayo pwede mag-save na mataas yung mga interest. Kasi ang dami sa inyo nagtatanong, what is the best app pa when it comes to these digital apps or digital financial institutions? So, what we're going to talk about right now sa vlog na to basically is all about savings doon sa mga digital apps. Okay guys, so we're not going to talk about digital banks. Um, I do have friends working on digital banks. So if we're going to be strict on definition by digital banks, basically, a digital bank, for your information, is a bank na dapat walang physical branches. So for example, Tonic is a digital bank kasi wala siyang branches here. CIMB, akala mo it's a digital bank, but te technically, CIMB is not a digital bank dahil meron siyang branches here. But anyway, wag na tayo go into those technicalities. What we're going to talk about now, syempre, I have my trusty iPad kasi I know some of you mamimiss yung iPad ko. Bakit daw sa videos ko, wala daw si iPad. Nandito lang po siya. So, what we're going to talk about is saan ba tayo pwede mag-save? Diba, a lot of you are asking, i-compare ko yung mga digital apps na yun. Saan ba yung pinakamalaki yung interest when it comes to saving? Okay guys, for this vlog, we're going to talk about 6 digital apps. So, para makasama siya dito sa listahan na sinasabi ko or didiscuss ko sa inyo. Number 1, kailangan meron siyang app. Number 2, kailangan pwede tayo mag-register sa app na yon. At number 3, dapat walang minimum maintaining balance siya. Kaya nakasama siya dito sa listahan ko. So, we will talk about six of these digital apps. First, it will be G-Save. Second is CIMB Upsave. Number three, it's ING Save. Number four, it's Como by East West Bank. Number five, it's This Card Deck by RCBC. And then last but not least, it will be Tonic, the newest player in the market. Sabi na nila. Okay, um, like what I said, let's get everything out of the picture na muna para at least alam na natin guys, diba? Number one, lahat sila pwede ka mag-sign up via the app so you just have to download it and then sign in and check. Okay ka na. Number two, ang second requirement na sinabi ko kanina kailangan wala siyang minimum balance or maintaining balance as well. So, dapat lahat sila wala. So, we already know that. We got it out of the way. Guys, so what we're going to talk about now is isa-isa natin yung mga interest rate nila. Again, it will be a range. Bakit siya range? So, some of these digital apps kasi, or digital financial institutions, merong promo yung interest rate niya when you save money. From. So, now, it will depend on you kung magkano yon. So, again, read the fine print first. Kailangan natin malaman kung magkano yung minimum na ipapasok mo money to be able to reach that interest rate. So, guys, it changes from time to time dahil kuminsan nagkaka-promo sila. But again, it will be in the app naman. So first player, let's look into Gcash. So si Gcash, ang interest rate niya is 2.6% to 4%. Based on my experience, I use Gsave kasi. So basically, to be able to get that 4%, you need to be able to reach a certain amount of peso value sa loob. So back then, yung promo nila is 100,000. If I'm not mistaken, up until now, 100,000 pa rin siya. Guys, again, Promos change, interest rate change, so you have to make sure, maybe when you're watching this vlog, nagpalit na siya, read the fine print, make sure you check doon sa app nyo kung ano yung latest na amount na kailangan mo ma-maintain para makuha mo yung high interest rate nyo. Okay? That's first, G-Save. Second is CIMB Upsave. CIMB Upsave at saka si Gcash kasi very similar silang dalawa. By the way, if you're not yet or pag hindi nyo pa alam, basically, G-Save is also powered by CIMB Bank or CIMB Upsave. So basically, it's the same. They offer the same interest rate, 2.6% to 4%, depending on the amount that you put in. So again, read your fine prints. Next, we're going to go with ING Save. So si ING Save, I know there was a time na sobrang singat ni ING Save. Everyone was talking about it kasi nga si ING Save, meron siya yung parang pipicturean mo na yung cheque mo, pwede mo na siyang ma-deposit. Siya yun, di ba? Yun yung uso sa kanya. Relatively, the same siya kay CIMB at siya kay G-Save. It's at 2.5% to 4%. Again, it depends. And then, of course, we have a new player. It is Como by East West Bank. Basically, si Como by East West Bank, ang interest rate na ino-offer niya is 3%. Then, you have Discard Tech by RCBC. Si Discard Tech by RCBC, guys, it's at 3.25%. So, medyo, at least, mas mataas siya kay Como ng konti, but, relatively, high pa rin siya. 
And then, of course, the new player na ang daming nababaliw about it. I keep hearing about it. It's Tonic. Si Tonic, again, may tiered siya. Mas malinaw actually kay Tonic when we're going to talk about high yielding interest kay Tonic. Kasi si Tonic, 1% yung regular niya. 4 to 4.5% in their stash, quote-unquote. Si stash is basically parang yung piggy bank niya kay Tonic. Yung highest, which is 4.5 to 6%, this is time deposit. Guys, good. So now na pag-usapan na natin lahat ng mga digital apps na yan, nasabi na rin natin lahat ng mga interest rates nila. And okay, unang-una pala pag nakikita natin siya, and syempre, magugulat tayo, oh my God, highest si Tonic. Okay, but that 6%, mind you guys, is a time deposit. Okay, what do you mean by time deposit? A time deposit basically is parang yung pera mo na dinagay mo sa time deposit, hindi mo siya pwedeng galawin for a certain period. That's what time deposit means. Kaya nga siya, time deposit. There's a certain time na kailangan na sa bako lang siya, ibaho mo siya galawin. So guys, yung 6% na high interest yield ni Tonic, basically, is under the time deposit account. For 6 months, kailangan at least na sa tonic yung pera mo na yon to earn that 6%. And there will be a minimum na kailangan mo ipasok or ma-maintain which is 5,000 pesos. First clips, yes, mataas ang 6%. Ito lang naman yung masasabi ko. It's a time deposit. I have nothing against time deposit. Pero guys, ang point mo dyan is kung time deposit siya, nakalock yung pera mo. So, for people na meron kang extra fund na hindi mo naman siya kailangan, then I would suggest ilagay mo siya sa time deposit to be able to get that 6%. Mataas naman talaga ang 6%. Very true. Kung titingnan natin across all of these digital apps, across any bank, wala talaga magbibigay sa'yo ng 6%. So, if you have that money, okay na sa'yo mag time deposit, then I recommend you go to Tonic. Guys, we always end up long with three things, and of course, I'm going to give you these three things. Okay, based on my personal opinion, based on all of the things that I've seen right now, okay, number one, Tonic has the highest in terms of time deposit. It is up to 6%, pero yun nga lang, time deposit siya. So, medyo, that's out of the playing field. Pero, if we're going to talk about savings lang mismo, kasi this vlog is about savings, then, hindi nagkakalayo. Gcash, Gsave, CMB, Upsave, ING, and Tonic is roughly at 4 to 4.5%. Yun yung highest nila. Again, you have to check the promo kung valid pa rin ba yung mga promos na high interest rate nila because for Gcash and CIMB, naka-promo sila. Second, guys, when you're looking at these digital apps, what I would suggest also, if nakatenga naman sa banko yung pera mo, you have that certain amount. You don't need it. You don't need it now. Wala ka pa yung investment na kailangan bilhin or insurance or whatever. Then, my recommendation, go by all means. Ilagay mo siya dito sa digital app. Kasi again, yung sa banko mo na pera, hindi naman mag-grow as much as this one. Definitely. Kahit anong gawin natin, hindi ka bibigyan ng banko, ng mga malalaki ng banko, ng ganito kataas ang interest rate. Sure na tayo dyan. 100%. Third, last thing, when choosing a digital bank, wag lang tayo, my personal opinion, again, baka magalit yung ibang tao dyan sa labas, pero again, this is my personal opinion. Do not go with a bank lang looking into, or a digital app, looking into, ay, man, ang interest rate niya. Again, we're going to look into the whole ecosystem. When we're going to look into the whole ecosystem, ang pinag-usapan natin dito is, yung app na yon. ano pa ba yung pwede mong gawin dun sa loob ng app na yun? For me, my personal choice, my personal opinion, is kailangan importante madali ba mag-cash in dun sa app na yon. Number two, madali ba mag-cash out dun sa app na yon. Number three, pwede ba ako pay ng mga bills ko or billers dyan sa app if I need to? And number four, meron pa bang mga ibang features yung app na yun na pwede kong gamitin? So guys, these are added features na importante rin that we have to look into. Hindi porket, okay, taas ang interest nito. Pero guys, let's just say, I'm gonna paint this picture to you. Let's just say one of these days, kailangan mo talaga makuha yung pera na yan, right? Away right now, agad-agarad. Pero oh my gosh, pahirapan pala yung app na yan to withdraw your money, to get that money out. Hindi mo rin sure kung paano kukunin yung pera na yun. Then guys, doble, doble isip na tayo doon, di ba? Kaya parang for me, I need to make sure saan ako madadalian to be able to withdraw if ever I need to withdraw that money. Okay guys, those are the three things, syempre, di ba? Again, yung three things and three things na kailangan nyo alalahanin. My personal opinion to. If you don't believe it, comment down below. Let's have a debate. Charing! Okay, 
But me, based on my personal experience, kasi syempre, these vlogs should always be about my personal experience. Ano yung na-try ko na? Ang na-try ko lang is GC and CIMB. Um, I reached the 4% na interest nila kasi during the promo, minit ko yung minimum amount na kailangan mo ipasok sa GC mo and then, pak, naka 4% siya. So, ano yung masasabi ko based on my experience? And why am I parang skewed toward using Gcash usually? Um, syempre, number one, I know how it how to cash in, how to cash out. Um, luckily, our company also uh, gave us Gcash cards. Ang maganda sa Gcash card namin is we have unlimited withdrawals from ATM. Again, that's a feature ng company mo in the discussion of Gcash. Ours kasi, we are able to withdraw our money using our Gcash card. That's why even yung mga ATM ko sa bako, I never bring it. I only have a Gcash master card. So, yun yung isang point na bakit ko sinasabi importante. Because if I need to withdraw money, kailan madali siya. Okay, guys. I know sasabihin nyo, ING, Como also has yung mga debit card. Even Tonic, lahat sila meron na yung debit card. Go! By all means. But again, mind you, some of these will charge withdrawal fees. For me, Gcash kasi doesn't charge me withdrawal fees. That's why I stay in the ecosystem of Gcash. I have investments in G-Invest. Kaya para for me, dito ako nakatali. Again, this is based on my personal experience. By all means, guys, try it out. Try your experience. There's no harm. Based on what we're seeing right now, I would recommend if you have an amount na natutulog na dyan, medyo malaki naman, by all means, go to Tonic, i-time deposit mo siya, reach that 6% interest. Sign din yun. But relatively across all, if I'm going to look into and we're going to compare all of these digital applications, for me, in terms of ecosystem, clear winner natin will be Gcash. In terms of rate, because of the time deposit, pinakamaganda talaga si Tonic. So guys, um, this is what I think about yung mga digital applications na pwede ka mag-save. Or some of these are digital banks and some of these are not digital banks. But that's my personal opinion on this. I hope you enjoyed this vlog. I hope this was also informational for you. Kung na-enjoy niyo siya, kung hindi na-enjoy siya, comment down below. Let me know. Discuss. Always remember, sharing is caring. So if you think your friend will be able to benefit from this vlog, share it to them. So guys, I will link everything down below para at least you can quickly go onto these digital apps, check it out for yourself, tingnan mo kung wala ka magawa, kung marami kang pera, go, magbukas ka sa lahat ng mga apps na to. So guys, till the next vlog, if you like this topic, if you want me to talk more about these digital apps and maybe another topic on digital banks, kung ano pa yung ibang features nila, let me know. Baka pwede ko siyang gawin. But syempre, kailangan ko mag-research and kailangan may experience nila ako. Para syempre, tulos full lahat ng mga vlogs natin. Bye guys!